Hi, Northern Michigan. My name is Nick Torney. I'm an infectious disease pharmacist at Munson Medical Center. And today on Munson Minutes, we're going to be talking about viruses. So a virus is essentially genetic material that's encoded, uh, wrapped around a protein coat, but it needs a host cell to survive. So it, it cannot survive outside of a host cell. Yeah, so a virus infects a host cell by binding to that host cell and then moving its genetic material into the cell and it essentially hijacks our cells into making more virus. Our cells have all of the, uh, the machinery essentially necessary to do that and the virus buds off of our cells and, and replicates in that manner. So a virus variant is, is just when a virus has a very small mutation in its genetic material, which happens when it mutates uh, multiple times every minute, and those mutations occur on a regular basis. So when a, when a virus mutates, uh, essentially what's happening is it, it replicates thousands of times a minute and small changes in its DNA occur, and or to RNA, its genetic material. And when that happens, that is essentially a change in the blueprint. When that blueprint changes, it can either cause a virus that is more transmissible or causes more severe disease, or, or even a virus that causes less severe disease or doesn't transmit altogether. When a virus mutates and takes a majority population, the reason that that might happen is that that mutation offers some benefit to the virus to transmit more rapidly and to replicate quicker and to have a, uh, a fitness over the wild type virus. So vaccines work with variants because scientists that design vaccines, they try to design the vaccine to work against a, a unique portion of the virus that is unlikely to have significant change if a mutation were to occur. So the, the current COVID-19 vaccines are, are holding up fairly well against the common variants. Again, the scientists that develop those vaccines develop them to target a, a protein called the spike protein that is unlikely to be modified or changed with variants. Uh, the, the response, the antibody, the immune response that's seen with some of those vaccines towards some of those, the, the variants that are out there is a little bit lower, but the vaccination is most certainly helping prevent severe illness, even in some of those variant COVID-19 viruses. Thank you all for tuning into this episode. We'll see you next time.